Hi everyone, I'm Miss Sarah and we are going to do um, a nature sensory scavenger hunt. And I'm gonna kind of show you how to do it um, and then you'll be able to do it at home with your kids. Um, so this is really fun because you first have to start out by going on a nature walk. Um, so you're gonna go, go on a walk, look for things on your way. You might find some sticks, you might find some leaves, um, I even have some pine needles or some nutshells. So you're just going to find things as you go on a nature walk and then you're going to pick them up off of the ground and bring them back with you so we can create our um, sensory nature scavenger hunt. And um, we're going to be gluing those on to our sheet of paper. Um, and this way, the next time you go out on a nature walk, you'll have yours all ready to go and you'll be able to go with you and take this sheet and um, do your nature scavenger hunt and you'll have all those little pieces and it's also very sensory. You can touch them, feel them, um, ask your child how they feel, soft, rough. Um, so it's really fun and your scavenger hunt will look very different than mine. We might find different things. So. I'm going to start by taking a sheet of construction paper and I have some pre-cut cardboard that I had lying around to make it a little sturdier. I'm going to glue this onto this. I'm just going to put some glue on the back. So you'll need glue, paper, and all of those things that you found on your nature walk. Then just glue it on and this way it'll be really sturdy so you can take it outside with you and it won't blow away as you find things. Some of these things might be a little heavy. All right, so you have your sheet on here and then I'm just going to decorate it first and glue some little twigs up at the top make it a little pretty um, before we go ahead and get started. Okay, and then I am just going to write at the top, Sensory Nature Scavenger Hunt. So you can have your children practice writing, you can do the writing. All right. And now I'm just going to glue and label what I found onto the scavenger hunt sheet. So I'm going to start off with, I found a piece of bark. So I am going to glue that on and it's just right bark right next to it. Put it right over here. So I'll go ahead and write down tree bark. And then it feels very, very rough. And you can always talk to your children about the sensory experience on it. Um, next up, I have some, I have a pine needle. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my best to glue that on. We'll put it right here. I might use glue stick for this and kind of press it down a little bit in the area that I want it. Hmm. This one might be tough. Maybe we'll need to use some other glue. So I'll glue that like that. Whoops. Ah! That's okay. Things happen. Okay. And I'm going to hold it down a little bit first. And then I think I'll put some more glue on right here.
Und das nennt man ein Steak. Das ist ein Käse. Okay, we'll come back to that one. Um, I also found some pine cones. Oh, let's write pine needles. Okay. Um, yep, we got our pine cone right here. Please brown. And write pine cone. And I also found some nutshells. So this is a walnut shell. And then I have some acorn pieces um, right here. And I have some little acorn toppers. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue those on. And I'm just gonna write shells on that, in that area. And you can be as specific as you want for the scavenger hunt. It's yours, so you can make it your own. And it's really fun to feel the different textures on these. Oh, my glue is just dripping all over the place. And then let's do one more. And then I'm just going to go ahead and write shells. And Sarah has glue all over her hands. Okay. Um, I also found a dandelion. Got lucky. There's not too many of these out in our area right now, but um, I was really excited when I found it. Just glue that on anywhere you like. And then write dandelion. And I also have some little sticks or twigs. Um, so I'm gonna glue these on and just write sticks And I also found some rocks. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue those rocks on. That's why we also needed it to be a little sturdier and all the gluing that we're doing. There's one rock. Two rocks. And this is um, really, you can kind of, I have some rough ones and I have a smooth one. So the texture difference there. I, I am getting glue everywhere, that's okay. Um, rocks, go ahead and write that on. And I think the last, Ooh, actually, I have some clovers, too. I'm running out of room. Um, I'll just do one clover. I only found a three-leaf clover, but, you know, I used to go outside with my aunt all the time and look for four-leaf clovers. Those are really hard to find, so if you find a four-leaf clover, that's really exciting. 
Um, so we'll glue that right here. I'm going to use a glue stick for that one. I'll use orange. Um, and let's see, we have a leaf. Do we have any other room? I'm gonna stick that leaf right there. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I'll be back. All right, I'm back and I think it is dried. So this is what mine looks like. Um, yours might look incredibly different than what mine does um, based on what you find on your nature walk. So from here, you pretty much can take this with you, go outside and do another nature walk where you're looking for these items on your sensory scavenger hunt list. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this activity. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, definitely get a little gluey, but that's okay. Um, and have fun with your nature um, walk and find some really great things. Bye.